Hi there, guys. My name is Chris Bowden, and welcome to the Geek Group. It's time for the monthly update. So we wanted to show you guys everything that we've done around here in the past month and give you the tour of the lab as it's coming together. And it all begins with what has been our primary focus for the past several months, the new sound stage. So you guys got to check this out. We're going to have Mikey zoom out, and we'll show you the set. This is set A, and we are incredibly proud of it. Um, this is the main set where we're going to be doing all the educational videos. Um, we, we built a nice big room where we can do everything from little stuff on a table where we could talk about things like this, the Asus E, da da, and we can do demos on that. Or we could do big stuff like bring a whole car in here for the geek mobiles and stuff like that. And you're going to be seeing hundreds of new videos coming out over the next few months. Just massive amounts of work going on here. We built the set. Everything is real. We've put the entire sign collection up. We've got sponsor banners for all of our big sponsors are up there, so you guys can check it out. We've got Stollard Technology, front and center. Um, they donate lots of computers to us, and they're the company that we work with through AI for selling servers and all that stuff. We've got Artware Apparel, who has been making Geek Group t-shirts for over a decade. We've got all kinds of stuff. We've got CNC Masters up there. They donated the really awesome milling machine in our machine shop. And just all kinds of stuff. They're all there. Every sponsor that has ever sent us a banner, they're on the wall. And if you're a Geek Group sponsor and you haven't got your name on that wall, send us a banner and we're happy to put you up there. Um, old Geek Group banner. This is, this is the old one from uh, the BRI building. And we've got, over on set B, we've got the original Sigma 6 coming soon from, that was, uh, one of our, that was our first lab in Kalamazoo. So we kept the banner, that's on display, and just all kinds of cool stuff. Um, the only thing we don't have for the new soundstage is cameras. So we are working very hard to try and acquire some real cameras. Um, we are desperately hoping to acquire a set of JVC HD100s, which are awesome. So, Craig, if you're ever watching this, this is what we have. Okay, this, it's, it's a JVC. It's an actual JVC camera. It's a KY2000. And it's so old that it says color video camera on it because this is back from the days when people were like, hi, we're broadcasting in living color. How cool is that? It's a novel technology. Look at this thing. It's as old as I am. It's that old. It's sad. It's a sad camera that has lived a good long life. But please, Craig, send us some new cameras. We, we need some nice stuff. And, and we want to have Craig come down and interview him here and show off the new cameras because they're really awesome. But we did just because we're cool. We put a pair of the old KY2000s up on display. There's one on either side of set A. But that's, that's the sound stage. So we'll back up. Back up, back up. We'll, we'll cut to a new thing here, and we'll show you guys like the overall of the sound stage. So watch this. We'll do some magic here. OK, now check this out. Here's the whole sound stage, and you guys get to like a little behind the scenes look here. This is the camera crane that we built, and we've had this for a couple of years. It just got a complete new overhaul. It's now perfectly balanced, and uh, it's very nice. We've got full pan tilt zoom on the remote end. We got all the wires tightened in. I'm gonna come past the lights here, so I'm probably really dark right now. I'm sorry about that, but this is pretty much as good as it gets because this is outside the light area. And the camera crane moves. It's completely portable. It's on a big studio pedestal. And you can see we can move the camera anywhere we want. It's now, because we modified the end, it can go all the way up above the lights and the heaters into the rafters, and it can go all the way down to the floor. Perfectly smooth. We can move it anywhere we want. And we put the safety sponge on the bottom to protect things. We've got other tripods and cameras and blocking monitors and studio lights and all kinds of cool stuff. So that's the main soundstage area. Now, in support of this, here's some of the other stuff we've built. I'll show you guys a new control room. All right, check this out. This beautiful, brand new, empty room is going to be our control room. And this weekend, we start with building all the countertops in here. We need to, to build custom cabinetry and countertops that'll house all the equipment. But this will be happening this weekend, so you'll see this coming up in a video probably within a week. Well, I'll show you what else we got. Okay, see these? This beautiful rack of equipment. These are a match set of six Dell 850s that we got from Stollard Technologies, and they're really cool. They're amazing machines. These are the computers specifically for video work in the new soundstage. So this is, this is where all the magic happens. And they also double as our render engine. So yes, we can do real rendering now. This is cool. 
And we've got the amps for out in the main sound stage. There's two amps here, and there's one tucked under here. And it goes up to this, which is just our background music out there for when all the, all the work's going on during the day when we're not shooting videos. We had to do something with this old mixing console, so we use this out there for just background music. Here, I'll show you some other stuff. Behind me here, this is Project Jeff. Project Jeff is our big KUKA KR351 industrial robot donated to us by KUKA Robotics. You're going to be seeing a ton of videos on this in the next couple months. We just got all the bugs worked out. We got everything tested and working and safe and happy and wonderful. And Jeff is a happy little robot. So this is one of our big toys here that you guys can come and learn on. We've got all the manuals, all the software, all the books, everything you could want. And the idea is that normal people like you can come here and experience this and actually have access to giant robots and, and many more just like Jeff. So that's, that's the latest developments in the robotics area. I'll show you some other stuff. All right, now let's take a look at some of the small demos we have. This is, we've been doing a lot of development on new demonstrations and stuff, especially with the new sound stage because we need stuff for videos. And we're getting ready for this summer season when school lets out. Um, some of the things we have up and running right now are we have the ring launcher, which is a demonstration electromagnetics. It's one of my favorite toys. You just press the button down, you let it charge up for a few seconds, and it fills up the capacitor array. And when you let go of the button, it dumps all the energy out from the capacitors into a coil and launches a ring into the air. Simple, but it's cool. We dig it. Um, this is a Farnsworth Hirsch fuser, which is a tabletop nuclear fusion reactor. We've got a whole demonstration on this. You'll be seeing a, a lot of videos on this one. It's, it's one of our, our more amazing projects around here. So that's, that's the fuser. We've got Jacob's Ladder. We've got a little tabletop Tesla coil. And we're resurrecting the old Project Groucho tabletop Marks Bank which in 10 years has never actually worked right, but we're going to keep beating that dead horse till we get the thing to work. Other things that are back out on display, we've got the fire tornado out. We've got, in the tornado theme, the tornado siren, which is out on display. We've got a new thing coming together, and I'm not going to tell you what this is yet. It's a surprise, but this is going to be awesome. Pay no attention to the tennis balls sitting in the bottom. Speaking of tennis balls, we have... The tennis ball cannon, new for 2009 with major upgrades. We fixed the valving system, we rebuilt the mounts and that, and this thing is cooler than ever. And that's the basics for 2009's new small demo stuff. We're always developing new ideas. We've got another one over there that I can show you in a second. It's, you might have seen the videos, it's the, the dancing goop. We've got a whole thing coming out for non-Newtonian physics, and we're going to be bringing the Rubens tube back in about a month. So that's all the stuff over here with the little tabletop demos. Let's take a look in the high voltage lab. Okay, so this is the high voltage lab here at the Geek Group Heavy Industries where we house Project Thumper, our high amperage demonstration, and Project Arcturus, which is our high voltage demonstration. Thumper is an impulse generator that can make up to 1,800 volts at 80,000 amps for three thousandths of a second. We use it mainly to blow up pop cans and make other similar detonations and explosions around the lab. It's a huge, huge favorite demonstration. Everybody loves it. And you can see all kinds of videos on Thumper and how it works and what it does. We've already done some basic promo stuff on it. We figured out how to shoot the explosions in slow motion so that you can actually see what happens. And we're going to be making a lot of videos of this thing over the summer. So look out for more Project Thumper. Over here, we have Project Arcturus. Arcturus is our 10 kVA classic Tesla coil. It's a two-coil system with a primary and a secondary. And it uses a synchronous rotary spark gap. Right now, we're powering it off only a quarter of our world's biggest MMC array. So that's all set up and running. And we're just putting the finishing touches on here and getting the last little bit of stuff cleaned up. So this already works. It's on display every day. And you're going to be seeing lots and lots of Tesla coil-related videos from us. So let's take a look at the vehicular sciences lab. And I'll show you back there. <laughs> 